Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making over the guest bathroom and I'm so excited because it's so plain. I'm even doing this before the master bathroom. I'm going to show you guys everything that we got to make over the bathroom. This is definitely on a budget. We're not going to be painting. We're just going to be kind of jazzing it up. Things, oh, can you see the... We got some new furniture not too long ago and the kids have been using the boxes for a fort. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. We're gonna show you the process, the before, the after. The bathroom is pretty much a basic bathroom. We have one sink here which can be a little awkward, especially when both kids are trying to brush their teeth at the same time. Now they just have to take turns, but you guys know we just moved into this house a few months ago, so it's a brand new house. So there are things that we don't need to change. We're, everything we're going to do today is pretty much just cosmetic. And you can see the floors. I love the floors. I also love the paint color. The paint color is the same throughout the entire house. It's called Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Um, and they're all textured. The whole house, the walls are textured, and I think that's very common here in Texas. We have our lighting up here, which is pretty basic. And then we have the big mirror. Like I told you guys, the one sink. And we have no pools on the doors. Our whole house was like that. I just think that's just um, standard for our builder. You can see we have that same tile up here on this wall in this room where the toilet and bathroom bathtub are. Um, the only thing we're going to do in here is change out the hooks for the shower curtain. I'm just going to do a quick overview of some of the things that we got to make over our bathroom with. So everything is pretty much cosmetic like I told you guys before. So we want to do black accents in the bathroom. So we got a matte black faucet. We got this from Home Depot. We got some matte black shower hooks. These are the Hearth and Hand line at Target. They are a set of 12 and they were $9.99. Okay, the kids are in there watching a movie. I didn't want anything super glamorous in there as far as lighting um, because I want black accents. So I found this like industrial style light fixture and it's black and it just has these clear little glass shades on it. We got two of these little accessories. So I got this real eucalyptus. I love how it smells and I love how it looks. I got it from Hobby Lobby. We got two of these round black mirrors to go in there and we got that from Home Goods, and they were $49.99 a piece. I chose to go with like a non-traditional like bathroom rug, so pretty. It's black and white, as you can see. I got some, for the tub in there, I got a bath mat. I just went ahead and picked up a two pack. One is gonna go in our room because, in our bathroom, because we need an extra one and the, uh, and the other one will just go in there for the bathtub. The last thing I have to show you guys is this really cute tray and I got this from Walmart for $24.99 and what I want to do is I want to set little glass jars in here for q-tips and cotton balls I'm gonna put my eucalyptus on this tray as well in a little vase so hopefully everything will turn out really nice and my goal is just to make it look better than this so hopefully it'll work If you guys are not following me on Instagram, I would love for you guys to come over and join me over there. It's at love underscore Candice. And right now I'm just showing you guys a, another look at the before of our bathroom before we get it all set up. Um, the first thing we're going to be doing is installing the light. So my husband cut the power, so that's why it's so dark in here. But he's now installing the new lights, which I really love already. I just feel like they stand out a little bit more. So we're going to start at the top and work our way to the bottom. Now that my husband has installed the base of the light fixtures, now we're going to take off the mirror. The mirror ended up being super, super heavy. We had no idea how heavy it was. This is actually the first time we've uninstalled a mirror like this. But don't worry you guys, we actually called Habitat for Humanity and they're going to come and pick up all of our things. We're going to donate everything in our bathroom that we uninstalled. This 
process, I'm pretty much totally useless. <laughs> My husband, I can't really help him do too much in here because he is installing pretty much everything. So the only thing I can really do is tell him where I want stuff, how I want it, what I want it to look like, and then cleaning it up afterwards. So right now I'm just filming and doing as much as I can to help him. But you guys, I'm not useful at all when it comes to stuff like this. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away, I want you for myself every single day. So here's the finished product. I love how it turned out. I love how fresh and clean and bright it is. We actually ended up changing all the light bulbs to that extra bright white light. Looks like a different bathroom. The pulls on the cabinets and the drawer actually make a huge difference in here. So I love that we added that. The greenery, the lights, the black accents just totally make a difference. So the wooden sign comes from our old house that we had in the kids bathroom before and I just reused it in here and I'm so glad I did because the colors and everything just match perfectly. The hooks we got for our mud area downstairs but it ended up being a little too big for our mud area. I'm so glad we kept it because it's perfect in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the pools made a huge difference. We got them from Home Depot. They were all under $7. They're heavy, good quality, and I'm so glad we got them. Since we're moving a bunch of things from the bathroom, we have some touch-ups to do. As you can see right here behind the faucet, we have 
all of that to touch up because that's where our mirror was sitting so the mirror was covering up all of that so we're going to touch that up and if you guys see some holes in a wall we're definitely going to get that fixed as well but you guys this soap and lotion set from target part of the magnolia line i am obsessed with it it smells so good if you haven't had a chance to smell the hearth and hand soaps please go to target check it out it smells so good gather is one of my favorites So if you guys remember that wicker tray that I bought from Walmart, it just didn't end up working in here. I feel like it's too big for the countertop. It just takes up too much space. So I'm either going to return it or use it somewhere else in the house. But I do want to add some more warmth in here. It's just a little too stale. I'm going to add something on the wall and definitely another like wooden tray, which you guys will see in a second. So I got this little round wooden tray that we already had just to add some warmth into the bathroom. I'm going to find something for the wall like I said before, but let me know what you guys think of this little makeover slash transformation. Let's talk in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.